In this video, I wanna share with you one of the hottest dApps that you should know about. I get lots of questions from people that say, hey, what are some really popular dApps? Uh, can you review them on your channel? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I wanna share with you one of the leading dApps in the Ethereum ecosystem that always seems to come up in conversation that I've had on my radar for a while and that I'm excited to walk you through today. So if you're new around here, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. So if that's something that you're interested in, click the like button down below and click subscribe. It really helps these videos get found so that more people can become blockchain developers. So if you go to a website like DeFiPulse.com, you'll see a list of leading dapps uh, that serve financial use cases. These are all really cool dapps. Some of them I've reviewed on my channel before already, like uh, Compound Finance. You might have seen my video on that. But the dapp that I want to talk about today is Maker. It's a very sophisticated dapp in the Ethereum ecosystem. And that's one of the main reasons I want you to know about it, right? It's a project that's been going on for a really long time and they actually just crossed a major milestone where they've released multi-collateral DAI, right? So what is that? Uh, don't worry if that doesn't make any sense yet. I'm gonna explain it throughout the rest of this video. I'm gonna tell you exactly what Maker is, what it does, and I'm even gonna walk you through how you can use it. But I think it should be on your radar if you're trying to become a blockchain developer because I think it's a really good execution of a decentralized application uh, that looks really nice, it works, and has a lot of users. It's gained a lot of traction. And before I explain everything and show you how to use it, like, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm trying to teach you how to become a developer. I'm not telling you where you should invest your money, all right? I'm just a guy on YouTube uh, talking about this for educational purposes only. All right, so what is Maker? And like I said, you can see on this list, this is DeFiPulse.com. It should give you a clue that it serves a financial use case. Um, all these apps on this website do. And I've actually got a full video on, you know, DeFi, what is decentralized finance. You can go check that out if you want a full explanation, a full intro on uh, DeFi. But these dApps are categorized in this list. And you can see that lending is the uh, category that Maker is listed in. So that should give you a hint on what it does. But I'm going to explain it. So let's go to the website here. So this is Maker's homepage. Page, and they have a few bullet points on, you know, exactly what it is for newcomers. And you can see, you know, some different spokes kind of in their ecosystem. And I'm going to talk about some of those here in a minute. But the main thing I want to focus on is DAI. So what is DAI? Well, it's a stable coin or a stable currency whose price doesn't change, right? So you think about a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, for example, the price is always going up and down, right? And this kind of prevents it from being a good medium of exchange because, you know, the price is always changing. Well, you don't have to worry about that with DAI because the price is pegged to US dollar. So $1 equals one DAI. Now, DAI is a very sophisticated stable coin because it's actually decentralized. So I'll explain what that means. Um, if you think about other stable coins, like I'll just uh, put an example here on my whiteboard. So stable coin, you know, like I said, they're backed by other assets. They're pegged to a certain value, but they're backed by other assets. Being backed by other assets means that there's something else that's actually holding up the value of the currency itself. So with centralized stable coins, basically, you know, it would be connected to uh, essentially just a bank account with US dollar in it. So bank with USD, right? But a decentralized stable coin like DAI, for example, works differently. Instead of being backed by essentially a big bank account with US dollar, uh, it's backed with cryptocurrency. And this cryptocurrency is basically just like Ether, for example, right? At least in the first version of DAI. I'm gonna explain more about that in a second. And DAI as a decentralized stable currency does all this on the blockchain with smart contracts. And specifically, it does this with debt, uh, with something called a collateralized debt position, all right? So collateralized position. So I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> so what is that? That's a huge word that might seem scary to you at first, but it's not that complicated when I explain it. So a CDP or collateralized debt position essentially is just a way of uh, borrowing money. Okay, so I'll explain it. So there are a few different types of loans out there. There are unsecured loans, 
uh, where essentially you can just borrow money based on your reputation and people will just you know, give you money and you don't have to give them anything in return. They just think that you're probably going to pay it back to them. So a credit card is a good example. Uh, so if you have a credit score, you know, somebody might let you open up a new line of credit with a credit card. And anytime you buy something on credit, uh, you're taking out a loan, essentially. It's just a short-term loan that you promise to pay back um, with interest, right? So uh, that's an example of an unsecured loan where you don't have to give anything to anybody in order to borrow that money. A collateralized debt position is different. Um, that's where you do have to give somebody collateral or, diff or your own assets in order to borrow assets from them. And that's exactly what a collateralized debt position is or a CDP uh, with Maker. And Maker uses this collateral to back up the assets in its DAI stable currency. And like I said before, you know, Ether was the original uh, asset that was backed uh, for the maker stable currency, but they just released a huge milestone where they have multi-collateral die, which essentially means that you can use other cryptocurrencies as collateral uh, when you're taking out loans inside these CDPs. And Maker is supporting more cryptocurrencies than just Ethereum or Ether, right? And you actually, uh, they, they vote on these, the currencies they want to support in their ecosystem. So that kind of brings uh, the conversation to more of the whole Maker project, not just DAI itself, uh, the whole Maker ecosystem and protocol. Essentially, Maker also has a token uh, you know, called Maker, and if you hold it, you become a stakeholder uh, and you get to vote on things like this and how the protocol works. It's a, it's a decentralized project, and that's one of the reasons it's really cool that I think you should know about uh, is because they have decentralized governance um, that's not just, a, you know, centrally controlled, right? So now I want to show you the Maker uh, CDP portal. This is part of their ecosystem, and this is one of the dApps that I think you should really know about uh, because it's really sophisticated and cool. So uh, head on over to cdp.makerdao.com. You can just find a link on their our homepage at makerdao.com. Um, and you know, before I do this and show you this, as always, this is for educational purposes. I'm not telling you to go lock your money into a smart contract. Um, I want to just show you this so that you're aware of it. So use this at your own risk. All right. Um, anyways, this is the the MakerDAO uh, collateralized debt position portal. And already when I get here, like this looks like a really welcoming application, right? This doesn't look like somebody coded this uh, in their bedroom, like some hacker. It looks like a team that, you know, really designed this and built this out and has a good user experience. That's a really great thing to see when you're using blockchain-based applications, especially when we're in this early phase. So, you know, they have like some really great... Uh, user experience, like if you don't know what it is, you can tab through this and it'll even tell you what a CDP is. It'll basically just give you a very similar explanation to what I gave you. Um, you know, it'll tell you why you should open one, how does it work, all that kind of stuff. So you can read through those if you want to. But I'm gonna walk you through it. Essentially, you just connect with uh, a wallet. I'm gonna use MetaMask, which is my Ethereum wallet, my browser here. You could use something else like Ledger, Trezor, Coinbase wallet. Um, but I'm gonna connect to it. Um, I've already connected this before, so if you haven't and you're using MetaMask, you'll probably get a, a permission window pop up. Just click confirm. Um, so anyways, you'll go to your dashboard here. I have no CDPs open at this time, um, but you can uh, kind of browse around here. You can tell the price of Ether that they're redeeming at, uh, some other stats here, You know the total collateralization of the CDP, uh, the maximum global PSI availability. So I'll stop and explain that really quickly. So whenever they uh, went with multi-collateral DAI, the single collateral die also stayed behind as psi, so SAI versus DAI. And psi is actually what I'm looking at here right now. So if you were to click this button to open a CDP, um, they would ask you how much you want to collateralize. I'm going to say 0 0.01, or sorry, 0 0.1 ether. All right, now it says how much psi, so not die, uh, do you want to generate? So I'm just going to click the max. So I'll copy that to my clipboard, put it in here. All right, so this is telling me this is putting my CDP at risk. That's what the alert here is. But it tells you the price of Ether, uh, the collateralization ratio is 150%. So uh, whenever you do this to open your uh, CDP, you just click this to confirm your details. They have a nice like checkout type of page like you might see in an e-commerce store. Uh, so the user actually knows what's happening. So uh, it also gives you some warnings here about uh, what the stability fee is and all that kind of stuff. And they also give you some details about what's going to happen when you interact with the smart contract. You click this down arrow right here. Uh, they show you step-by-step -step creation of a proxy, creation of a CDP, it wraps your Ether to WEATH. Uh, basically, it turns your Ethereum into an ERC-20 token. 
uh, so that it can interact with the smart contract. It converts your wrapped ether uh, into P ether or peeth. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of steps here. You can read through those if you want to. But anyways, you accept the terms. You basically finalize and create CDP. Uh, MetaMask confirmation will pop up and you click confirm. All right, and that's how you do it. So I'm not gonna open up a new CDP today, but I wanted to walk you through uh, how you would do it if you wanted to do one of these yourself, all right? And big, really the biggest reason I wanna show you this is to show you kind of an advanced uh, DAP that's a leader in the Ethereum ecosystem if you're trying to build blockchain applications out there and you want some inspiration, you want somebody to follow who's solving uh, the kinds of problems we have to solve as blockchain developers. Uh, Maker is a really cool project um, that is leading and that you should <laughs> take notes from if you're trying to become a blockchain developer, build your own projects, or you're working at a company who's trying to build dApps. Uh, they're a really good uh, project to know about. So I hope you all like this video. Again, uh, if you are interested in becoming a blockchain developer, you will learn more about it. You know, subscribe to the channel, uh, click the like button down below, and you should join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. If you're really serious about, uh, you know, digging in and uh, learning to become a blockchain developer and getting really good. All right. So until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.